breeding Zafunists, or in this case, potential Zafunists, because today's topic is, should you buy a pocket saxophone slash Zafoon? We'll go over some pros and cons, and to help you make your decision. So we'll start with some pros. So pro number one, these are relatively inexpensive. So for this one, this is the Maui Zafoon, it's the brand name one. It goes for about $100 online, easy to find. You can find knockoff ones for around 50, and you can find the bamboo ones for 150 to 200. I wouldn't recommend getting the bamboo ones to start. I would definitely get one of the plastic ones. Um, which is number two, since they're made of plastic, these things are indestructible. So they're the pocket sacks because they can travel with you anywhere you go. So if you're going to go out camping and you need a little instrument to play, this is perfect. It's going to survive whatever you throw at it. It's tough. The next pro, number three, it could be a pro, it could also be a con, depending on how you see things, but the Zafoon is diatonic. So as we play through our notes, we end up just playing one scale. We play the F major scale is what it is. Uh, you can also fairly easily play the C scale. So that kind of limits you a little bit on what you're going to play. If you're going to play simple pop songs, then you're going to have no problem. But do know you have to probably put it into a key like C or F, maybe G, to make it work easily for you. Um, you can play the chromatic notes, but some of them have weird fingering, some of them don't sound good. So, you have that to consider. Another pro, number four, is how it works. It works like a saxophone or a clarinet. We got our single reed making the sound. So you're going to learn how to set your mouth to play a wind instrument like that. And, you know, get used to the fingerings and all that. So if you're beginning your woodwind journey, this is a great place to start. For not a lot of money, you can learn those basics and uh, get going that way. Like I said, we got to use a reed. So now we can start our list of cons. Reeds can often be a con because they cost a lot of money. They got to be replenished because they wear out as you play them. So you got to buy, buy them as you go. Uh, a box of five tenor saxophone reeds. You need tenor saxophone reeds to make this work. Um, a box of five of those is going to be about $25 for the Van Doren ones. And if you get Rico ones, which are good for beginners because they're a little cheaper, you can get a box of 10 for $35, $40. Of course, the price has gone up a lot recently. But it's kind of a fee you have to pay to play a wind instrument. you got to keep buying these reeds as you move along. But if you take care of them, they'll last long enough and you're going to be okay. Uh, con number two, the tuning on this is a challenge. So don't expect to grab one of these, play it for three days, and jam out with a piano player. It's probably not going to sound great. But it is something you can overcome with practice, just like anything else. Uh, con number three, I already mentioned, the chromatic fingerings can be a bit of a hassle. So there's some notes like D sharp or C sharp that just aren't going to sound great no matter how good you get. Um, they'll sound a little stuffy, they're hard to get in tune, things like that. And then another con is actually the finger positions can feel a little uncomfortable to most people, especially if you've played other woodwinds. So for instance, your left hand, finger one and two have an awkward gap right here. Um, and also, you have a pinky that's in line with all the other holes, which I think, I can't think of another woodwind that does that. So you got to get used to using your pinky a little more than most people want to. Once again, just practice. You can get over it, but it is a challenge you're going to have to overcome. And the final thing is, do you even like how this thing sounds? It's a unique sound. It's a little rough around the edges, I'd say. Uh, but it can also sound fun. It's unique. So, has this fun little kind of hollow sound to it. Uh, yeah, it's kind of, I don't know, corny might be the right word. I'm not sure. But, if you don't like how it sounds, obviously don't get one. Or maybe someone in your house doesn't like the sound. Tell them to be quiet and just let you practice. So that's all I have for you. So hopefully that helps, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.